Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial series for Pennywise. If you become a channel member today, you will instantly gain access to the other Pixel Art tutorial parts that the current channel members have access to. You'll also gain early access to the other Pixel Art tutorial parts that I'm working on. If you become a level 2 channel member, you'll also have your name featured at the end of every Pawi video. And if you become a level 3 member, you'll have your name featured at the end of every Minecraft video, which includes the Pawu tutorial, timelapse, and showcase videos. Don't forget, the best way to get into contact with me is through my Discord. I'll be leaving a link to my Discord down below in the description. And if you're a channel member, you gain the channel member role within my Discord once you link your YouTube account with your Discord account. Once you're in my Discord, you have the opportunity to join my Minecraft realms where you have a chance to play survival or creative mode with me. And if you're a channel member, you'll gain access to the channel member realms. Also, don't forget about my other social media. I'll be leaving links to them down below in the description. And if you're on the Windows 10 edition or on the Xbox, my gamertag is FelixGuamNYT. Go ahead and send me a message or a screenshot of the progress you're making with this pixel art tutorial or any of my other pixel art tutorials. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the gray wool. So let's go ahead and switch to the gray wool. And with gray wool, we're going to go over here and find these three black concretes that we have here going across right next to the area where we left off uh, in the previous part. So starting from the right block of these three, on top of the right block that is. So from here, we're going to be placing three gray wools going up. That's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block. Now let's head back down to these three grays. And starting from the middle block on the left side of these three, so starting from the middle on the left right there, we're going to be adding from here three blocks going to the left. That's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be placing six blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block. And once we've done that, all we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, let's go ahead and fill in these three empty spaces here with the cyan terracotta. So let's fill these in. There we go. So it should look like that when you're when you're done filling it in. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the gray concrete. Now with the gray concrete, let's move up here to these two black concretes that we have here. Starting on top of the right block, we're going to be adding just one gray concrete on top of it. So that's one. Once you've done that, switch back over to the terracotta. Starting on top of this gray concrete, we're going to be placing two terracottas going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now that we've done that, we're going to continue moving over, uh, over to the left. Let's go all the way over here to the left. And I want you to go down here, not down here, but right here, to these three black concretes that we have here going across. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the gray concrete, starting on top of the right block of these three. So starting from here, we're going to be adding two uh, gray concretes going to the left. That's one, two. Once you've done that, switch over to the black wool. And we're going to be adding one black wool to the left of the gray concrete. So that's one black. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing one black wool going up to the left. That's one. Switch back over to the gray concrete and add one gray concrete on the right side of the black wall. So that's one. And then we're going to be switching back over to the cyan terracotta. And on the right side, we're going to be adding three cyan terracottas going to the right. That's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be placing four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the gray concrete and with gray concrete we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right that's one two three and once we have that we're going to move back over here to the right still with the gray concrete in our hand because we're going to be using it as an outline for now so let's move back up here let's go back to the top block of these four gray walls we had here going up on the right now, starting on top of it, so from there, we're going to be adding two gray concretes going to the right. So that's one and two. 
Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So we have one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And now from here, we're going to be switching blocks. We're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta now. And with the cyan terracotta, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wall. And with the gray wall, starting on the right side of this cyan terracotta, so starting from here, you're going to be adding two gray walls going up. That's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three. And now that we have our three here, we're going to be placing one gray wool going up to the left. That's one. So it should look like that. Should be making contact with those black concretes up there. All right, now what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, starting from the top block of these three gray walls on the right side, so starting from there, we're going to be adding three cyan terracottas going down. So that's one, two, three. Let's head back up here. Now starting from the top block of these three cyan terracottas, so from here, we're going to be placing one cyan terracotta going up to the right. That's one. And once we've done that, you're going to be switching over to the gray wall, and we're going to be filling in this small space here with the gray wool. So fill this in with gray. And now let's switch back over to the cyan terracotta. And we're going to move down here and we're going to start uh, underneath these three gray wools. Starting from underneath these three, we're going to be adding three cyan terracottas going down. So that's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. And it should be making contact with these gray wool here. All right, next, we're going to be switching over to the black wool. And with the black wool, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the black wool. So let's fill this in. There we go. And now that we've done that, still uh, having the black wool in our hand, let's move over here to the left. And I want you to go from this empty space, the top left corner of this empty space. So let's go up here where we have these six black concretes going across. We have these four black concretes here. Starting from underneath the left block of these six here, starting from right there, we're going to be adding two black walls going to the right. That's one, two. Now, once you've done that, let's move over here one block over to the left. And underneath these black concretes, we're going to be adding one black wool. So that's one. And then once you've done that, you're going to be placing another black wool going down to the left. That's one. So it should look like that. Once we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the gray concrete. And with gray concrete, from here, we're going to move one block over to the left to these two black concretes. We're going to start underneath these two black concretes. So starting from right there with the gray wool, or not the gray wool, sorry, with the gray concrete, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right, with the gray concrete. So that's one, two. And now from here, we're going to be placing two sets of fours going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the gray wall now. So switching over to the gray wall, let's head back down here, back to the three gray concretes, starting underneath the gray concrete that's down here. So starting from Right there, we're going to be adding one gray wool underneath, so that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, you're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta, and we're going to be adding one cyan terracotta on the right side of these two gray wools, so that's one cyan terracotta. And then we're going to be switching over to the gray wool and starting on top of the cyan terracotta, we're going to be adding five gray wools going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. 
Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three. And now from here, we're going to be placing two sets of fours going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, one. And one, two, three, four, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back up here. And we're going to be switching over to the sign terracotta. And from here, we're going to be placing one sign terracotta going up to the right. That's one. So I'm going to fly back a bit. So you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. All right, next we're going to be switching over to the... Just to avoid any confusion, actually. You know what we'll do first? We're going to be filling in some um, some areas. Let's uh, switch over to the sign terracotta. And with the sign terracotta, you can see that we've made an outline here. And we've made empty spaces in between uh, this area. So just these empty spaces here that I'm pointing out to you. These empty spaces get filled in with the cyan terracotta. So let's go ahead and fill those in now so we don't get confused on what needs to be filled in for this next part. All right, so we'll fly back a bit. So it should look like that when you're done filling it in with the cyan terracotta. So now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool for just a sec, and we're going to move down here to the left. Now I want you to go over here, not to confuse that area down there, but over here to the left, far left. Uh, in this corner, we're just going to be placing just one gray wall. So that's one. So it should look like that. Next, you're going to switch over to the placement block. Add a placement block on the right side of the gray wall. So that's one. Then switch over to the... We're actually going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. So let's switch over to the light gray concrete now. And with the light gray concrete, we're going to be adding one light gray concrete on the right side. So that's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And let's get back down here. And just this empty space right here, let's go ahead and fill this in with the light gray concrete. Fill this in. There we go. So it should look like that. And now once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the gray, uh, the gray concrete. Now with the gray concrete, moving to this one light gray concrete, so starting from there, we're going to be placing five gray concretes going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So it should look like that. Five blocks going across. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. And on the right side of the five gray concretes, we're going to be adding three cyan terracottas going to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now from here, we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, starting underneath the left block of these three cyan terracottas, so starting from here, uh, we're going to be adding five blocks going to the right with gray wool. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next from here is we're going to be moving back to the three sign terracottas here and starting on top of the left block this time. So starting from here again, um, we're going to be adding six gray wolves going to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the sign terracotta. And on the right side of these six gray wolves, we're going to be adding two Sign terracotta is going to the right. So that's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one sign terracotta going up to the right. So that's one. Now from here, let's switch over to the gray wool. Starting on top of this sign terracotta, we're going to be adding two gray wools going to the right. So that's one, two. And now, uh, starting on the left side of this very same cyan terracotta, so starting from here, we're going to be adding two gray wools going to the left. That's one, two. So I'll fly back a bit, so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta, and we're going to move over here to the left. And we're going to move to this area, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the cyan terracotta. Just this empty space. So let's fill this in with the cyan terracotta. There we go. 
fly back a bit so you can see this should look like that now we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete now with the light gray concrete the remaining empty space is all of this here all of this here gets filled in with the light gray concrete so go ahead and do that now i'll also fill this in in real time with you because it's not that large of an area for me to actually uh skip over or edit out okay there we go fill this in There we go. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything, everything, everything should look exactly like this so far. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to move back up here. Let's go back to those four black concretes. And we're going to switch over to the gray concrete. On the right side of these four black concretes, so from here, we're going to be adding six gray concretes going to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Next, you're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. Should be making contact with these 14 black concretes here with those two over there. And now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. And with the light gray concrete, let's move over here to the right. Uh, to this one gray concrete. On the left side of it, we're going to be adding four light gray concretes going to the left. That's one, two, three, four. Next, you're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta, and we're going to be adding ten cyan terracottas going to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once you've done that, switch over to the gray wall, and with the gray wall, let's head back over here to the right again. This time, we're going to be starting from these four black concretes on the left side of it, so starting from there. We're going to be adding ten gray walls going to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the black wall, and with the black wall, we're going to move over here to the left. Let's move to these five black concretes. They should be on the same level as these ten gray walls here. So moving to these five black concretes, starting underneath the left block of these five. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two black walls going to the right. So that's one and two. Once you've done that, you're going to be adding one more black wall underneath the left block of these two black walls. So underneath the left, add one black wall. So that's one. So what we're going to do next is we're going to be filling in this empty space here to the left with the black wool. So let's go ahead and fill this in with the black wool. So it looks like that. Now once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, let's head all the way back over here to the right. This little small empty space here that's on the left side of the 10 terracottas, the 10 sign terracottas that we placed, just fill in this small space here with the gray wool. So fill this in with gray wool. And then once you've done that, switch over to the gray concrete. And with the gray concrete, we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the gray concrete. So let's fill this in with gray concrete. There we go. Okay, so now that we've filled that area in, what we're going to do next is from here, from this general area, we're just going to move up a bit, just up a bit. And I want you to go to these five black concretes that we have here. We're going to start underneath the left block of these five. So starting from right there, right there, we're going to be adding two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left with the gray concrete. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. So it should look like this. Once you've done that, switch over to the gray wall, and we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the gray wall. So fill this in with gray wall. And now starting on the right side of these very same five black concretes, on the right side now, we're going to be adding two gray wolves going to the right. That's one, two. And once we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the placement block and moving back once again to these five black concretes. On, on top of the left block, we're going to be adding one placement block, so that's one. And once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the black wall. And with black wool starting on the right side of this placement, so starting from right there on the right, we're going to be placing four black wools going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. So it should look like this. 
And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, we're going to move over here a bit to the right. And this time we're going to be starting on, again, once again to these five black concretes. On top of the right block this time, so starting from here, we're going to be adding two gray wools going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. Once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. And with the cyan terracotta, let's move over here to the right. We're going to be uh, we're going to move to these three black concretes here on the left side of these three. We're going to be adding just two sign terracottas going to the left. That's one, two. And now let's move over here to the right on top of the left block of these three. So starting from right here, we're going to be adding two sets of threes going across on the upper level to the right with the sign terracotta. So that's one, two, three, one and one, two, three, two. Once two sets of threes. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. And now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the gray wool. And with the gray wool, starting on top of the left block of these two sign terracottas, so starting from there, we're going to be adding two gray wools going to the right. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing two gray wools going down on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three gray wools going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing three blocks going down on the left. That's one, two, three. And now from here, we're going to move over here to the left a bit, and I want you to go back to these three black concretes. You can see that we have three cyan terracottas above it. So going to these three black concretes underneath the left block, so from here, we're going to be adding three gray wools going to the right. That's one, two, three. Now I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see the entire thing. So you can go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare, which I would recommend. All right, so now from the uh, from the empty space that we were just here, we're, we'll uh, work our way backwards. From the, this empty space here, we're going to be switching over to the sign terracotta, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the sign terracotta. So fill this in, sign terracotta, there you go. And then we're going to move up to the right a bit, and this empty space right here gets filled in with the sign terracotta. So fill this in with sign terracotta. Once you've done that, switch over to the gray wool, and now we're going to be filling in this empty space right here with the gray wool. So fill this in with gray wool. There we go. Next, we're going to move over here to the left, and this small empty space that's right here also gets filled in with the gray wool. So fill this in with gray wool. And now we're going to be switching over to the gray concrete. Now with the gray concrete, we're going to be filling in just this one space here with the gray concrete. So let's fill this in with gray concrete. Okay. And now that we've done that, let's move over here to the left. And now we're going to switch over to the black wool. And this remaining empty space here gets filled in with the black wool. So let's go ahead and fill this in with black wool. There we go. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, this next part up here uh, actually isn't part of uh, Pennywise's collar. So this is probably going to stay empty for a while because I want to get uh, all of his uh, collar and body done. But just so we don't have an empty space to look at the entire time, let's go ahead and work on this. This is very simple, easy one. This isn't part of his uh, collar. This is actually part of his hair. But let's go ahead and fill this in real quick. So we're only going to be needing two blocks for this, and it's very simple. So we're going to be needing the black terracotta, and we're going to be needing the gray terracotta. All right, so we're going to be using the black, or not the black, we're going to be using the 
gray terracotta as the outline. So let's just quickly switch over to the gray terracotta. And we're going to start at the very top, uh, well, at the only top uh, part of this empty space. So up here, underneath this black concrete, we're going to be placing four gray terracottas going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, four. Next, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's go to that placement. And now once you've done that, you can see that we've made contact with these six uh, black concretes. We're going to start on the left side of these six black concretes. So starting from right there, we're going to be adding two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, you're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Get rid of the placement block, fly back a bit, so you can see that it should look exactly like this. And now we're going to be switching over to the black concrete, and you're just going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here with the black concrete. So let's go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, it was very simple, very easy thing to outline and fill in, so that's why I've elected to to get this part done. Even though it's not part of his collar, this is actually part of his hair. There you go. Now we won't have to stare at an empty space for like the next two, two or three parts. Okay, so now what, let's uh, let's just make more room in our inventory. So we're gonna go ahead and put away these two blocks and refocus on the gray shades. Okay, now what we're going to do for this next part, now for this next part, um, this involves a lot of diagonal. So you know what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna be starting all the way down there and we'll, we'll work our way up. This is gonna be a long one. So let's try to get as much done as possible. Uh, let's go all the way down, all the way down here. We're gonna be switching over to the, actually, let me get the blocks in first. We're not gonna be needing the black wall. So let's just put that aside for now and so and I don't believe we're going to be using the gray concrete as well. It's only going to be a certain amount of blocks. So we're going to start off with the cyan terracotta. We're also going to be needing the light gray wool here for this next part. So with the cyan terracotta at the very bottom, very, very bottom, by the way, this is just one large empty space here at the very, very bottom of this empty space on top of this black concrete, we're going to be adding just one cyan terracotta. So that's one. Once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. And on top of this sign terracotta, we're going to be adding seven blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven blocks. And once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next is from this block right here, we're going to be placing three light gray concretes going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Should be making contact with that black concrete. So it should look like that. And once we've done that, starting from here, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Now let's head back down here. Let's go all the way back down here. And let's switch over to the placement block. Add a placement block on top of this light gray concrete. So add one placement block there. Switch back over to the light gray concrete. Starting on top of this placement block, we're going to be placing five blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. And now let's head down here to this sign, uh, not sign, but let's head down here to this uh, light gray concrete. We're going to be adding one placement block on top of it, so that's one. Switch back over to the light gray concrete, and starting from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the left. Four diagonal up to the left, that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements now. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Now, if you haven't caught on, this is going to be very, very similar to the Spider-Man um, pattern of where it's just check, like a uh, checkboard kind of thing, checkmark uh, pattern. But uh, it's not going to be as uh, as painful as that one. I'll, I'll do my best to make sure it's not as painful <laughs> to follow. All right, we're going to be switching over to the gray wool just real quick. Um, 
we're gonna find this empty space here not not these empty spaces that we just created but this empty space that was right here we're gonna fill this in um fill this empty space here that's just surrounded with the black concrete with the gray wool fill that in with gray wool just so we don't have to look at it and you don't accidentally fill it in with the wrong block okay now let's switch over to the cyan terracotta now with the cyan terracotta this is going to be we're going to be doing this one by one because um not all of these empty spaces get filled in with the cyan terracotta um this area right here that we just fill, filled in if we move to the left to these black concretes underneath these black concretes we're going to be adding um we're going to be filling in this one space here with the cyan terracotta so fill that in with cyan terracotta and now from here going one up to the left this empty space gets filled in with the cyan terracotta let's fill that in and once you've done that let's head back down here to this the, the first cyan terracotta that we filled in from here we're going to be placing um one block technically two blocks um two blocks going diagonal down to the left but like filling in you know so that's one and two see that went diagonal down to the left filling it in and now that we've filmed that we're going to be filling in these remaining empty spaces here down to the right not not anything over here but just down to the right of where we just filled in those two areas with the cyan terracotta let's fill those in so it should look like this go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare all right so now that we've done that what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be let's see just to make this a lot easier so we don't have to go crisscross every which way and um us getting confused on which way we're going so from here on out the blocks that we're going to be using now are always going to be going up to the right not just up to the right diagonal up to the right so it's not going to be six blocks going across or three blocks going diagonal up to the left every single line every single outline is going to be going diagonal up to the right going all the way up and we're going to be uh, resetting by going down to the left going all the way up to the right down to the left up left all right right all right so just just so you're aware just so you always know the direction we're going to be going is diagonal up to the right so let's go ahead and start down here start from this uh light gray concrete we're going to be adding one placement block on top of it so that's one and now switch over to the light gray concrete now starting on top of this placement block here what we're going to do is place eight blocks going diagonal up to the right so that's one two three four five six seven and eight so let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks and let's head up here now we have this little empty space that's right here so we're going to move to these two black concretes on top of the left block of these two so starting from there we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right that's one and two so it should look like that okay so now uh let's reset going back down here put a placement block on top of this light gray concrete so that's one placement and switch over to the light gray concrete starting on top of this placement block we're going to be placing eight blocks going diagonal up to the right that's one two three four five six seven eight let's go ahead and get rid of those placements And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the placement block, heading back down here, resetting. So resetting down here. Add one placement block on top of this light gray concrete. So that's one placement block. Switch back over to the light gray concrete, starting on top of the placement block. We're going to be placing from here six blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks now. And once we've done that, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to go ahead and take a little time to, to fill in some of these empty spaces here. Let's switch over to the light gray wall. At the very, very top here, the very, very top uh, empty space of all these single empty spaces right here that's underneath this um, light gray concrete. Let's fill in this empty space here with the light gray wall. Let's fill that in with light gray wall. And then fill in, uh, going down here, down to the right, you're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light gray wall. Let's fill that in with the light gray wall. And once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next from here is you're going to switch over to the cyan uh, terracotta. 
and going to the left, staying on the same level, but going to the left. This empty space here gets filled in with the cyan terracotta. Let's fill that in with cyan. Now once you've done that, switch back over to the light gray wool, and uh, we're going to be going down to the left, and this empty space here gets filled in with the light gray wool. Fill that in with light gray wool. And then you're going to be switching back over to the cyan terracotta, and we're going to be going down to the left, and this empty space here gets filled in with the cyan terracotta. Let's fill that in with cyan terracotta. And once we've done that, from here, going down to the right, these two uh, empty spaces that are going diagonal down to the right, these two get filled in with the cyan terracotta. So that's one and two that get filled in. And then once you've done that, going down to the left from this area, we're going to be filling this in with the cyan terracotta, just one, this empty space here to the left. So that's one. Once you've done that, we're going to move back up here. And these four empty spaces here, right here, get filled in with the cyan terracotta. So go ahead and fill those in with the cyan terracotta. So it should look like this. All right, go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool, the remaining empty spaces down here, all of these empty, all of these single empty spaces, get filled in with the light gray wool. So let's go ahead and Fill these in with the light gray wool. There we go. Very simple and easy. Again, I'll fly back a bit, just so you can see that everything should be looking exactly like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is we're going to be switching over to the placement block. And with the placement block, let's head back over here to the, or better yet, just resetting. You should know by now what resetting means. It means we're starting back down here to the left. So resetting down here. Starting, uh, We're going to be adding one placement block. So that's one. Then we're going to be switching over to the light gray concrete. Starting on top of the placement block, we're going to be adding six blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four five, and six. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. And this time, we're not going to be uh, resetting with the placement block. We're actually going to move over here to the left down here. We're going to be starting on top of these uh, uh, five black, uh, not black, but five uh, gray concretes. And we're going to be switching over to the white, where is it? Uh, the white concrete. We don't have it in our inventory. That's why I couldn't find it. All right. We're going to be switching over to the white concrete, and we're going to be adding one white concrete on top of these five uh, gray concretes. So that's one white concrete. And then we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, kind of have like a little pattern going on from here. So starting from this one white concrete, we're actually going to be switching over now to the light gray concrete. Now from here, we're going to be placing six blocks going diagonal up to the right with the light gray concrete. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placement blocks. And once you've done that, let's reset back down here on top of the white. We're going to be adding one placement block. So that's one. And then we're going to be placing from here one white concrete on top of this placement block. So that's one white concrete. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement block. And now let's switch back over to the light gray wool. And starting from this uh, white concrete, we're going to be placing from here just uh, just uh, five blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Let's reset back down here. We're going to be switching over to the placement block. Add a placement block on top of the white concrete. And then we're going to be switching over to the white concrete. Add one white concrete on top of the placement. So that's one. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement now. And now before we actually switch over to the um, light gray concrete, st starting from this one white concrete, we're actually going to be adding one more white concrete going up to the right. So that's one. Now, once you've done that, now we're going to be switching back over to the light gray concrete. And starting from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks now. And once we've done that, we're going to reset 
on top of this white concrete here. I'm going to be adding a placement block on top. And then we're going to be placing a white concrete on top of the placement. So that's one white concrete. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching back over to the light gray concrete. And starting from here, we're going to be placing two light gray concretes going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Now I'm going to go ahead and fly back a bit so you can see all the progress we've done so far. And you can go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Now before we continue on with the outlining, let's go ahead and do a little filling in so we're not too confused here. So we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta first. Now with the cyan terracotta, let's go to the very last white concrete that we placed up here. On the right side of this white concrete, we're going to be adding just one cyan terracotta, just filling just this one space. And now from here, directly underneath it, directly underneath, going down the very next empty space is this empty space here. We're going to be filling this empty space here with the cyan terracotta. Let's fill this in with cyan terracotta. And now one, going one block down to the left, this empty space, we're going to fill this in with the cyan terracotta. Let's fill this in with cyan. And now from this empty space going directly down, the very uh, the very next empty space that's right here, uh, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the cyan terracotta. So fill that in. I'll fly back a bit again just so you can see the areas that we filled in with the cyan terracotta. Now, once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next is you're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here, the remaining single empty spaces here that we left behind with the light gray wool. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's fill this in with the light gray wool. There we go. And uh, I think that we found a, a nice little rhythm. We'll do a little outlining and then we'll do a little filling in, outlining, filling in, outlining, filling in. All right, so again, I'll uh, fly back a bit and you can go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare, just to make sure everything is looking exactly like this. So let's head back up here, and uh, we'll do another little reset, so that means switching over to the placement, add a placement on top of this uh, white concrete, so, and then we're going to be switching back over to the white concrete, actually let's put the white concrete a little closer to us, okay. And uh, starting on top of this placement block, we're going to be adding two white concretes going diagonal up to the right, so that's one and two. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching back over to the light gray concrete, and we're going to be placing two light gray concretes going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. And once we've done that, we're going to move down here, except we're not going to be resetting on top of this white concrete. We're going to be uh, resetting on top of these three uh, cyan terracottas. So put a placement block on top of these cyan terracottas, so that's one placement block there. And then we're going to be switching over to the white concrete. And starting on top of this placement block, we're going to be adding four white concretes going diagonal up to the right. Four white concretes going diagonal up to the, up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. All right, so that's four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. Let's head back up here. And now from here, let's switch back over to the to the light gray concrete, and from here we're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. And once we've uh, once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the gray wall, and we're going to be placing one gray gray wall going up to the right. So that's one. So again, I'll fly back a bit, just so you can see that everything should look exactly like this. Okay, so now this is where it's gonna, it might get a little tricky. So we'll instead, actually, will it? No, 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 I won't, no, no, I won't, no, I won't. <laughs> I know why it won't, because we're actually using this this specific block here. Uh, so now, continuing on from the gray wall, let's switch back over to the light gray concrete. So starting from here, from this gray wall, we're gonna be placing 13 blocks going diagonal up to the right. 13 blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13 light gray concretes that went diagonal up to the right. And they should be making contact with the bottom block of these three black concretes here. So again, that's the light gray concrete. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. I'll fly back a bit. So you can see that it should look exactly like this. So now we're going to go ahead and instead of resetting, doing our normal reset where we go down here to the left, um, let's go ahead and focus on getting this empty space that we just created uh, filled in with the outline first. So we're going to be resetting down here uh, to this specific uh, light gray concrete. On the right side, we're going to be adding one placement block. So that's one placement block, okay? I'll fly back a bit so you can see where we are, okay? Go right there to reset. And now let's switch back over to the light gray concrete. Starting on the right side of this placement block here, we're going to be adding three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements now. And now from here, we're going to be placing one gray wool going up to the right. So that's one. Once you've done that, we're going to switch back over to the light gray concrete. And starting from here, uh, starting from this gray wall, we're going to be placing 12 blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. That's 12 light gray concretes. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks now. And now we're going to be switching back over to the placement block. Let's head back down here again. Starting on the right side, we're going to be adding one placement block. So that's one. Switch back over to the light gray concrete. Starting on the right side, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So three diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements now. And now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool, and we're going to be placing one gray wool going up to the right. So that's one. And now from this one gray wool, we're going to be switching back over to the light gray concrete. And from here, we're going to be placing five light gray concretes going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. And once we've done that, let's go ahead and reset one more time. Let's switch over to the uh, placement block. And this time, you can see that we're going to be starting on top of these three black concretes. So on the right side of this uh, light gray concrete, we're just going to be adding one placement block there. And then we're going to be switching back over to the light gray concrete. Starting on the right side of the placement, we're going to be placing five light gray concretes going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks now. And I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue the Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial series for Pennywise in the next part. If you become a channel member today, you will instantly gain access to the other pixel art tutorial parts that the current channel members have access to. You'll also gain early access to the other pixel art tutorial parts that I'm working on. If you become a level 2 channel member, you'll also have your name featured at the end of every Pawu video. And if you become a level 3 member, you'll have your name featured at the end of every Minecraft video, which includes the Pawu tutorial, time lapse, and showcase videos. Don't forget, the best way to get into contact with me is through my Discord. I'll be leaving a link to my Discord down below in the description. And if you're a channel member, you gain the channel member role within my Discord once you link your YouTube account with your Discord account. Once you're in my Discord, you have the opportunity to join my Minecraft realms where you have a chance to play survival or creative mode with me. And if you're a channel member, you'll gain access to the channel member realms. Also, don't forget about my other social media. I'll be leaving links to them down below in the description. And if you're on the Windows 10 edition or on the Xbox, my gamertag is Felix Huamin YT. Go ahead and send me a message or a screenshot of the progress you're making with this pixel art tutorial or any of my other pixel art tutorials. And of course, I want to give a big shout out to all my level 3 channel members. I greatly appreciate you and I hope you're enjoying your new loyalty badges. So with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for the next part of the Minecraft pixel art tutorial series for Pennywise. And make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.